Hi boys and girls and welcome to our Sunday school lesson. I'm teacher Ilse and I'm teacher Vilna and, and we, we are from Divine, Divine Kids. Children, can you still remember what our lesson of last week was about? Let us refresh your memory. So Blossom, I baptize you in the name of Jesus. Go Blossom, Hi, well Julia. done. That was such an exciting time for Blossom. I know that since that time her life really changed and that she had such an encounters with Jesus. She was so, so happy that she did what Jesus tells us to do in the Bible. Oh. Teacher Ilza, will you please share with us again the four steps we need to take if we want to live close to God and live a life for Jesus? Well, kids, the four steps is you have to repent of your sin. You have to give your life to Jesus. You have to be baptized and then you can be filled with the Holy Spirit. Wow. Will you please remind us of the memory verse of last week? Yes, I will. Acts twenty two sixteen. And now, what are you waiting for? Get up, be baptized, wash your sins away, calling on his name. I think I'm going to do it again. Please do. Come on, children, do it with me. Acts 22, 16. And now, what are you waiting for? Get up, be baptized, wash your sins away, calling on His name. Wonderful. And children, now it's time for our Bible story. Are you ready? Yes, I definitely am. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. To the Fine Kids Bible Story Time! <laughs> Blossom, you are so happy today! Full of joy! What's going on? This is such an amazing journey for me! I repented of my sin! I gave my life to Jesus! I was baptized! So, I can't wait to see what's going to happen next! It's uh, so exciting to be a child of God! That is absolutely amazing, Blossom! You know what, if you continue to trust in God and listen to the Holy Spirit and do what He told you to do, you will always make the best decisions in life and you will always be a joyful and not make unnecessary mistakes. But, um, where do I find the Holy Spirit so I can talk to Him? I don't have a car yet, I can't drive and I also don't have his address. Where does the Holy Spirit live? Where can I find him? You don't have to search for him, Blossom. Let us read what the Bible say where we can find the Holy Spirit. Awesome! Well, in the book of Acts in the Bible, we read that the Jews were in Jerusalem for the Feast of Pentecost. The people that believe in Jesus were there too. They gathered together waiting for the gift that Jesus has promised them. In the middle of the festival, the gift arrived. It began with a sound, a sound like a howling wind. It filled the house where they were waiting. Then something that looked like fire settled on each one of them. Fire! Then God's presence filled the whole room and they started to speak in other languages. The people around them could be couldn't believe what was happening? Some mocked them and said that they are drunk. <laughs> but others were amazed by the words that Peter spoke. Peter was one of Jesus' disciples. Peter told them to repent of their sin and be baptized. And then they will receive the Holy Spirit. The day, that day, about 3,000 people accepted Jesus in their lives and were filled with the Holy Spirit. Wow! 3,000 people? God's Holy Spirit came and lived inside Jesus' followers. That's so cool! But that happened such a long time ago. And God's Holy Spirit came... Wait, no. Can God's Holy Spirit come and live inside us today? Oh yes, God's Holy Spirit can still come and stay inside of each one of us and give us the power, even today. Wow! How much do I need to pay God 
to send this Holy Spirit to come and stay with me. And give me power. Wow! I saved some money, you know. I have a whole basket full of coins. But I actually wanted to buy a new dress with the money. You don't have to pay him anything, Blossom. It's a gift. It's for free. Wow! God's Holy Spirit came and lived inside 3,000 people. Inside Jesus' followers. That's so cool. But that happened such a long time ago. Can God's Holy Spirit come and live inside each of us and give us power too? Oh yes, the Holy Spirit can still come and live inside of each one of us and give us power even today. How much do I have to pay God to send His Holy Spirit to come and stay with me and give me power? I saved some money, you know. I have a basket full of coins. Mm, but I actually wanted to buy a new dress with that money. You don't have to pay him anything, Blossom. It's a gift. It's for free. Free? So, let me see if I get it right. God's Spirit can come and live inside of me and give me power and it's free? Yes. You see, Blossom, when you repent of your sin, give your life to Jesus and be baptized, you show God that you really want to be His child. And because you want to that, He gives you a free gift. The Holy Spirit to be with you forever and ever and ever. I have another question. What is the power that the Holy Spirit gives me? For what? Why do I need His power? Let me explain it to you like this. Blossom, do you sometimes get angry when your friends don't want to play with you? And do you sometimes not listen to mommy and daddy when they ask you to do something or to clean your room? Mm, yes. Well, that's why you need the Holy Spirit to give you power to be nicer to your friends and to always love them and to be obedient when mommy and daddy ask you to do something for them. I really need the Holy Spirit then to help me. And He will. Why don't you pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help you right now? Okay, let me pray. God, thank you for filling me up with your Holy Spirit. Please give me the power to live just like Jesus, to be humble, to always tell the truth, and to love other people. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen! I have another question. Yes, Blossom. God is big, right? Yes. And I am small. How is God and God's Spirit going to fit inside me? I'm confused. I know this is a lot to take in for one day, Blossom. I tell you what. Let us stop here for now. The only thing that you need to do is to allow the Holy Spirit this week to help you. Every time you feel angry, stop right there. Then you speak to the Holy Spirit and you ask Him to calm you down. And He will help you. So, every time I want to sin, I just talk to the Holy Spirit and ask Him to help me not to do it. Hmm, I think I will do that. That's a great idea, Blossom. You see, the Holy Spirit will also comfort you and help you to make the right decisions and teach you the Bible. Wow, I like the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is really awesome and He's always, always with us. Well, kids, that's all that we have time for this week. I hope to see you next week. And remember, the Holy Spirit is always with you. Yay! Bye! Bye. What a powerful Bible story. Wow, wow, wow. Isn't it amazing to know God cares so much for us that He sent us His permanent helper so that we don't have to struggle alone on earth? That is true. God really gave us such a precious gift. And the wonderful thing is that we don't even have to work for it. No. We just need to give our lives to Jesus and believe in Him. 
So kids, to help you today, we're going to do our Bible memory verse. And that is in Acts 1 verse 8. Teacher Vilna, please help us. Acts 1 verse 8. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Let's do it again. I like this verse. <laughs> yes. Acts 1 verse 8. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Thank you so much. That is really an exciting, exciting Bible verse. Children, this is all for today. And I really want to encourage you that this week, spend time with the Holy Spirit. Listen to His voice. And I promise you, the more you listen to Him, the more He will speak to you. I hope to see you next week. And Teacher Volna, thank you so much for everything that you do for us today. Thank you, Teacher Ilza. Will you please close with a prayer for us? I will do that. Father God, I thank you for this wonderful, wonderful gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you that we can know that the Holy Spirit is always with us and that he will never leave us alone. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you that you teach us about the Bible and how to rely on you always. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you.